Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're gonna talk about how to install a decal. A big decal. On a boat. A big, big decal. So, stick around. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to install a decal, where to get a decal, and why you would want to put a decal on your boat. But first, I want to talk about some DIYs. If you ain't been on my channel before, go over and check it out. I got a long list of DIYs that'll help you save some money. And if you like it, click subscribe and click the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I post videos and you can watch them. And also, for you guys that don't know it, I just started a new channel with my wife and it's called Today's Crafts. I just posted a video on it, the very first video. So look in the description box below, the link to it's in there. Go over there and check it out and see if you like it. It's a DIY channel too, but it's not a fishing DIY channel. It's a DIY channel for everything that's not fishing. But trust me, I built some cooler stuff than this. And it's going to be on that channel, so you might want to go check it out. But anyway, let's get into this. Number one, how to install a decal. My boat gets really dirty because it's in the same building I fabricate in. Basically, I have to wash it a lot. I got to wash it off so I can put my decals on today. Get all this scum off of it. Yeah, she clean now. Look at that. She's looking good. Alright, I pulled my boat in the other side in a different bay where I usually work and it's almost hit my toolbox. Now I got stickers on this boat already. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this one off, but this one right here will definitely have to come off. So I guess I'm going to start peeling it off. I got the one and I got the eight off. This stuff don't peel too easy. What I'm gonna do is get my heat gun and heat it up a little bit. And you don't wanna heat this until you mess your paint job up or nothing. I just wanna get it softer to see if it'll peel off cause it's kinda hard. Man, this stuff don't come off easy. Now the decal I'm putting on my boat is like 18 foot long. It's still rolled up. It's pretty big and everybody's seen it before. It's the one that comes on the Pro Cats usually. Well, you can't get them on my boat. I messed around and I got lucky and I found me one. All I'm gonna need to put it on is I got some water and about a teaspoon of soap in it. I use Dawn dishwashing liquid and I got these squeegees and one side's felt and one side's hard. And I got these off of Amazon and they're for doing this type of thing. But that's all you're really gonna need. That and clean your surface really good. All right, I got the decal laid out. This thing's kind of complicated because it's got all these little separate slits. This ain't gonna be fun. I got a decal that goes on a 19 foot bass cat i got an 18 foot river cat so i think we can make this work but it ain't gonna be fun putting it on there what we're going to use is the hinge method the hinge method is where we tape it in the middle and then we tape one side off then we can work on half the decal while the other side's taped on there okay so to get this sticker the same on both sides of the boat i measured off the corner right here down two feet and I put a piece of tape. And I want my sticker to start about here. That's how I'm gonna keep them the same on both sides. Okay, so this bass cap part that's on the end of the decal, I took my scissors and trimmed it off because if I don't, it'll get put on the boat as well. There's a backing piece of paper and then there's a transfer sheet. Sticker stuck to the transfer sheet. The sticker itself stays on the boat and the transfer sheet comes off. That's just to make it simpler to apply. But I had to cut this off because I had to get it off of this transfer sheet or it'll end up on my boat. Now I got this sticker taped on the boat. You notice I got a lot more tape on this side, a little bit on this side. This right here is your hinge. 
That's what makes it the hinge method. Because now I can untake this side and pull it back to the hinge and work on half of the decal. Then after I get it in place, I can work on the back part of the decal. And I'm leaving the bottom loose so I can adjust it when I'm scraping out my water. At this part, you're gonna need somebody to help you. I'm gonna peel the back off of it, and I'm gonna cut it right here somewhere with the scissors and take the back completely off. Spray down the boat, spray down the sticker. And then you put it on, and you're gonna have to squeegee the water out. After you cut the white paper backing off of it, this is the decal. That's where I cut the white paper, right above my hinge. Now we want to spray down the boat and we want to spray down the decal. Then spray your decal. That'll keep it from sticking instantly as soon as you touch it and give you time to work on it. Well, we got it on there, but I'm going to tell you right now, this video is probably going to make this DIY look a lot easier than it is. Some of the stickers not down, but I'm going to have to wait for it to dry and then go back and stick it. The water and soap solution just won't let it stick. But all I'm doing, I'm trying to make sure everything's flush and get the bubbles out of it. But looks pretty good now i'm starting on the other side i did the same thing i measured off the back of my boat come over about two foot and put me a piece of tape the main thing is that you put them the same distance on both sides and i'm going to go towards the front so i want the edge of my decal starting about where this tape is the other thing you need to remember measure the same distance from the bottom of your gunnel down to your decal to where it starts <laughs> Number two, where to get a decal. I'm really liking this decal. Like I said already, those sea art decals are not easy to come by. You just about have to buy a boat with one on it. But I just happen to look across one because when you got connections and you shop on Craigslist, that sort of thing just happens. In your area, wherever you live, there's probably some shops that do wraps. If people do wraps, then they can do decals. You just have to call them and ask them. But I know a place that's really good at making decals. And, and as a matter of fact, they don't just do vinyl decals. The decals I'm using have a UV protectant layer that keeps the sun from bleaching it out and damaging it. You probably heard me talk about the Catfish Clothing Company before. Well, they make decals too. And I got them to make my logo decal and that thing turned out awesome. This is one of their decals. On the cutting board video, I said if you said fishing and stuff, if you ordered something, you got a free decal. Well, they even made my decals for me as well. But they do a real good job of it. And if you've got a YouTube channel or a fishing team, it's cool to get your own logo made to put on your boat. That way you're representing yourself. And they're really not that expensive. Number three. Why would you want a decal? The reason I wanted a decal on my boat was just because of the cool factor. I mean, you could have this, or you could have this, or you could have this. Or this. Of course, you might be a big fan of this. But I'm a big fan of this. You make your own mind up. But decals can make your boat look cool. 
Decals can represent you. It's a good marketing strategy. You can even take an old beat up boat and have a wrap put on it and make it look new again. There's all kinds of reasons that people put decals on their boat. But whatever your reasons are to do it or not to do it, they're totally yours. But me personally, I love my new decal. Oh yeah, by the way, if you like this fishing stuff decal, I've got some smaller ones like this. And there's a link in the description box where you can get these at. So if you like it, go order your one and support the channel. Look guys, I'm not sponsored by Catfish. I'm not a pro staff of Catfish or anything. They're just some great guys I met. And they've done some cool stuff for me. They're really nice guys. And I support their business. I support it so much. This right here is how much I support it. I really appreciate everything y'all do for me, Chris. I really do. Hey guys, if you like this video, click that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, then what you waiting on? Go over and check out the Catfish Company. They do awesome custom work. And if you do, tell them fishing and stuff sent you. And I'm sure the decal special will still stand. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Oh yeah, go check out my other channel too. And I'll see you on the next build.